All right, guys, big welcome to you all to game two of the beautiful VMS Bruce deck. Uh, this is a shadow boxing match. If you haven't seen game one, then I will give you the explanation. Um, in game one, we did going first, and in this video, we will do going second. The shadow boxing is more to show you how the deck plays out and how your early game looks a little bit, what's your game plan. And it's a good addition to add to your already existed uh, deck profile and combo video. And with that, I hope that you will like get the hang of how the deck should function. Of course, you can see like getting the Eli in the early game, getting the promo grade one in the early game. It does make a huge difference uh, playing against decks that could retire. It's also does make a big difference on what you have in your hand and whatnot so yeah we will uh we will see how how this game will uh will play out so now we will do going second uh, going second in this deck is still good because you will get the final burst right away uh, that does make a difference while playing this deck actually so you could put pressure on your first turn you go to grade three the only difference is that you will not have the power from the person, right? But it, you do get more time to do your setup, uh, especially with your energies. All right. I got some tea right here. <laughs> I've been doing three videos for you guys and uh, my voice is like, uh, right, D-boy, chill, chill, chill. But but yeah, you uh, you guys wanted these videos, so uh, let's uh, let's let's make them for you guys. All right, so let's say we 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 go second, right? We already uh, shuffled. So we will do the cut right here. We'll do a little bit more shuffling. Here we go. We are going second, so five. Right, this is a good hand. We are starting with Eli's. Uh, do we have to keep two? I don't know. Um, maybe going second, we could afford to. Uh, we would rather get the, the Persona right to the hand, but they could help us with getting the Persona right. So we draw one, two. The third one would have been, that would have been good as well. But he is kind of better than him because he could still search him and put something into your soul. He is a, a plus one. Um, yeah, so you would rather have Eli. You would rather have as much Eli's as you can, especially going second, because you have more than enough energies to use their ability. Right, so you have your starter, and uh, they go first, so they do shenanigans. It's your turn, you stand and draw. You drew into a front. You could discard the crit right here to the right. Go second, you draw first, and then you will activate this ability to soul charge. Okay, interesting soul charge. And energy charge of three. All right, and that's it for now. We can't do anything more. We can't rush on the first turn. So, drive check. Uh, critical tree. No, another Eli. All right. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, we should we should be good to go. Then it's their turn, they attack into us. If they have multiple attackers, we take the first one. Ooh, person on the right, that's bad. Uh, then the second one, we will guard with the heal. Then we stand and we draw. We draw into this. We have options. If we want to keep the front on the hand, we will have to drop this. Um, and I think that's okay. We will not get punished because we have this boy. So we energy charge three. And this will stand and this will be right here then his ability first this goes to the soul to draw a crit okay so uh, it's good for defense then we call the eli the energy blast of three we check one two three four five six seven this goes to soul this comes to field. Now we only need to get a persona right. 
you could also choose to call the genome to the field and um, with that you will be able to search for the personite for the next seven but I would rather do it this way for now because I do want this attack to still be effective. Now we could afford to call another Eli. Or if you want to do it differently, you could also do it like this. You could also choose to call the genome. You could put this into your soul. You could energy blast three to call this to the field. And then you will keep your two Eli's for later. But the genome on the field is eh, for now. So I would rather just put him into the soul and then I, I would rather use it. A second Eli to energy blast, three more. And now I will try to search for a Gino or a person right. So we will do the shuffling again, just to make sure. And then top seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's interesting. We could not use another Eli. We have a Gino and we have a Patrick. I think that's the best choice. And I will leave the Gino on the fields for now. So next turn, the ELA will be able to uh, to give us a person right. Hopefully, hopefully he will give us a person right. So Patrick will go into the soul as an attacker for later, and the Gino will come right here. Now you get to the bell phase. Um, this will attack. This will attack. This will attack. Depending on what triggers they get or not you could also do it like this and then you draft check over trigger <laughs> okay fuck you blue ot that's why you see the dark state at least better drop you get removed the uh, crits and the 10k will go to this it will still be hit if they didn't want to pass or whatever it gets the 10k uh, the 100 million so this will attack you will put them at like four damage just just like that and that's that's insane because they will never drop a pg right here never never ever um then it's their turn so they attack into you you will let the attack or two through um depending on what what turn they have and what shield you have you have this and this uh, and nothing else that you want to use except the interceptor which will be on this side because the Julian will come right here. Here you will have an attacker. So you could choose to to guard and guard and lose both of your of your Eli's. Um and let's say you guard with this as well. You want to stay on two damage. It's fine, sure. Stand and draw. You draw a PG. Good. And uh, now we have to drop something right here. You could choose to drop him. If you do that, then um, I would, I would rather not, I would rather not drop him. I could not drop him because I need him for next turn. Uh, the PGs are, of course, needed. This will move up. This will chill right here, which will give you something else. Hopefully a persona right into your soul. And... Yeah, what, what else you call from him will be the other attacker or, or booster, if it's Stephanie. So you could you could give him up. I would rather just keep this in my hand for now because good shield is important. Then you ride into your grade three. Of course, of course, you will get the 10k and crits from, from the over trigger. And now you will get the energy charge of three. You will use them right away because this will chill right here. Uh, or on the same side as him because he will be the one that needs the booster the most. Uh, use his skill, energy blast three. Come on, person, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here we go, here we go. And you could choose this because we don't have enough energies for this. All right. We have a count blast, so we could do full combo right here. Uh, the only downside is that we don't know if we could hit another Julian. But we should be fine. We should be fine. So this will go into your soul. And this will come to the field. And you could call a Jillian right here because remember they are very high on damage. So 
we will do the seven attacking turn um, but a weaker version of it that's that's basically the idea or we could chill if we chill then we will keep this on hand that's that's like the the biggest difference um, so in this case we don't have a geno we do have a geno in the soul so we could afford to 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 give him up this will switch anyway this will come right here and i will show you the the mini the mini version of of the turn and we will see how next turn will be we still have good defense all right so this will be the first attack you enter the the bell phase and now we have final rush and final burst so we will get a 5k and he will get a 10k this is the weakest attack this is just 10k so you kind of have to boost it right or you could hit into a, a rare guard that's that's a possibility as well so let's say you attack into a rare guard you just want to get rid of the rare guard and then you attack with this this is a 20k to their finger they still have to drop a 10k which if they don't have a draw trigger they will have a drop 15k which is perfect and then you activate his ability so these two will retire and you will be able to call the julian right here and you draw a card which is a draw trigger <laughs> That's why, in my opinion, it's okay to boost him, because this attack could still hit, but if they get a trigger on this attack and they are on 4 damage, then you would rather not. So this will attack, boost it this time, you got plus 1, and you could call 1 from your soul. So what you could also do, if they didn't get a trigger, you could call it right here, and then you could use the ability to count plus 1, and you call this right there. And because you have 2 damage, he will get only a 4k, which basically does nothing. <laughs> but assuming they didn't get a trigger, then this is the best scenario. So that will be attack, and this will be the other attack. And then your finger will attack. Activate his ability, your count plus of 1. This would re-stand and get a plus 5k. And then you activate Chino's ability to uh to soul blast two and he will restand himself and that's like the problem in this scenario is that your gino will will not be strong and so you're doing all of that for getting the persona right for next turn but if you will be like fuck it i don't want the persona right then you could also play differently but let's say for an example that you have done it this way um the Gina will only restand himself, and this is the column that restood with your finger. Then, of course, that's better. So, this, you restand this, and he was called by the Julian, uh, and he will restand himself by soul blasting two in this case. And then you attack, they have to guard this. So, if you get a trigger, maybe he still can hit. First, it's nothing. The second, it's nothing. So, no. <laughs> uh, attack into a rear guard if they have something. If not, then this will attack into their finger. This will not kill them. We know that this turn will not kill them, but it will pressure them a little bit and hopefully take a little bit more cards from them, also because of the OT. So then, at the end of the turn, he will go into the soul and you will get your person right to your hand. That's It's all about getting that person right back. That's that's like the big, big thing. If not, then you will have way better attackers. Just like the 10k will have been 20k two times at least. All right, then it's their turn again. So they attack you. You have no reason to guard and fucking hell, no triggers. So you'll have to guard, guard, uh, guard. And then the only thing you have to keep on hand is him. And that, that's, that's it. Like... Even, even these don't really make that big of a difference right now. It would be nice if you can keep them, but it's fine if you lose everything. You stand? As long as he's alive. If not, then you have to keep the one in your hand. Um, and you draw. And I think we should energy generate right here. You will Persona Ride, of course. So you'll have the 10k the crits and the Persona Ride. And we draw. We draw into a Patrick. That's definitely good. 
this will come right here and this could go right there and that's basically a good field you could also gamble on calling something with him instead of the the patrick and just using another counter blast uh that would work as well but yeah up to you the that would work differently i will show you how that would work so you enter the battle phase your field would look like this it this would be in your hand uh, he will get the extra 5k and then this will be the first attacker right here activate the ability counter blast of one you will soul charge one and two and you will call something which will be the patrick so with this you saved yourself a patrick but it costs you a count blast so you will end up with no cb face up it would be the same scenario as last game and if you want to put yourself into that situation uh, it's up to you so the difference right here is that he gained also a 10k which makes it 10 uh, 13, 23, 33. This will get a 10k because of his skill. Then he attacks. So this is 30. Then use his ability to retire the two. Draw one. You call this right here. Then he attacks. Boost it. Activate the ability. Count plus of one. He of course gained 10k. Soul charge one, soul charge two. Call it Gino and a booster. Gino. We don't have Eli or anything else or Stephanie, so we'll have to call Steve. This would have been nice, but no. <laughs> uh, Steve Gates plus 5k. Then this will attack. Then you attack with your Fangord. Fangord skill. Count plus restand. Plus 5. Plus 5. Gino skill. Soul blasts. These two. To restand. Plus five. Plus five. Drive check. First. Front. I will take that. Second. Order. Then attack. And attack at the end of the turn you will put this into your soul and you could add back a pg for example in this case or persona right but uh, you don't really have that much of a defense in your hand like this was your gamble like this will kill them off because of course you have been putting pressure the whole game um in the situation that you have lost the patrick before and you have one CB left, then you could make a very, very strong next turn. Even if they retire, uh, this would have been gone anyway. Even if retire your front row, and you would still have a, a strong turn, right? So let's say that you defended everything with this, with a 5k, and with a PG for free, because you have one card in hand, then you could stand, you could draw. A draw trigger which doesn't do much you could activate the order to call something from your soul <clears throat> which is in this case you want this and the problem is right here is that the one that you drew is not a diabolos if this was a diabolos then you could have called it as an attacker or a booster but it's not so you could not do that and yeah you have to uh, yeah, it is what it is. So, again, another 10k in the crits because of the over trigger. And you have him gaining a 5k. And you have him gaining a 5k. Right? This looks good. So, this will attack, will be 15. This will attack, will be 10, uh, 23. This will attack, activate his ability, count plus one, restand plus five. His ability, soul blasting two. to uh well, well maybe if that 5k will make that big of a difference then yes <laughs> restand plus five plus five drive check one and two nothing we'll die we will die 
um, and then this attack, this attack. And then at the end of the turn, this goes to Sol and you get one card back, which you have nothing to guard with. <laughs> you have a 10k, 5k, 5k, 5k. So no way that you survive the next turn and we will do the whole shenanigans yet again. Like, no, no, no way, no way, no way. It will be a very, very stupid game just like that. But again, it, it's, it's, it's possible, like, there are some scenarios where you will see different things. Like you'll have this right here and this right here. You have the two soul, which is perfect. Uh, this could not hit anything, and but you will call it anyway. This is the common that would restand. That's why you have it like this. Um, you could also choose to call it like this, and then uh, this will move up. And then they all hit 13, um, if not waiting for the trigger. This will hit first for 15, then this will attack, activating his ability to solve less. The only two cards you have to stand. Uh, gain plus five, plus five. Then uh, your drive check, draw. You will could give the power right here. Draw. And the second drive check is nothing. Then attack, attack. That's it, that's it, that's it. <laughs> um... Yeah, is it a strong deck? Definitely. Is it a deck that will top easily? No. Is the arrival boost better? Um, depend. <laughs> and you'll be like, D-Boy, depend on what? It depends on lots of things. Uh, depend on the decks that you will face. Uh, depend on decks that if you put pressure on them in the early game, they... Uh, they, they struggle. Uh, it depends. Yeah, it's, there, there are just a lot of factors that, that makes a big difference in, in this meta. Uh, although the arrival Bruce, in my opinion, has the, 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 the stronger explosive turn, still in some situations, this deck will, will do better just by having a more flexible early game and having like advantage called to the field. Although in the in, in the arrival Bruce, like your advantage if you have the energy cyclers, they plus your own hand, which which is good. Uh, because the, the hand pluses in my opinion are always better than field pluses. But this deck just comes the, the Eli makes makes it very, very, very easy to uh, to make the pluses and to just come back like you have seen like that there was just one Eli if you top deck it then uh, you could just have a, a good turn um, he could search you the genos he could search you a promo he could he could pretty much search you whatever you want and in my opinion that's, that's that is that is a lot of something that's a lot of something um that's kind of it for this video uh again I really hope that you guys enjoy these kind of videos. I know that you would prefer a actual footage of a gameplay, but maybe in the future. For now, I think this is the best way to showcase the deck. Otherwise, the, the attention will be focused on the match and that will be the two decks. So yeah, that's why I'm doing it this way. If you guys are interested in more, uh, if you guys want to know more about this deck, just let me know and I'll be uh, more than happy to uh, to help you out to um, to to give you the uh, the explanation that uh, that you need. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in our channel. I hope that you guys um, learn from this videos. Like that's. One of the most important things is that I really wanted the Bruce and the Spike decks to be played well. And I know that you guys are enjoying these decks, profiles and videos a lot. And that's one of the reasons why I, uh, I keep making them. I will keep making them. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys and uh, till next time.